So hello everyone, this is King Cobra Plays and today we are doing the Rags to Riches part 2. Right, so I'm going to do it in the same day only because I feel like I, I've just kind of left you like with the KO Perico and if you have done real quick, like already then, well you're going to be a bit confused to do what was next but in this video i'm mostly going to be talking about businesses and that's why i've jumped onto my main account right so first things first what order do you want your businesses and i personally recommend doing the bunker first and as i said last video do it in this region So it's close to the city or close to your other businesses. And I've just realised my main account has that much money, so I think they're both linked. Shoot! Ah, oh, damn it, bro. Um. Well, that's kind of annoying, but whatever. Alright, so first, my recommendations is the bunker. Now, I used Dreamash Bunker and I haven't actually renovated it. I probably should. I might as well just now, like, just because why not? I do not have that much money, but you know. Still can't afford it. But yeah. So, the reason why the bunker is good is because. Even if you buy it, it can still generate a decent amount of money. Like, I'm pretty sure you can get about like a hundred k every supply bar, which is really good, seeing as the supplies cost is 75k. And if you're doing it in a public session, you can get the high demand bonus, giving you around a profit from 25k all the way to maybe 75k now you think that wouldn't be a lot but as i said the kasatka is the probably currently your main like amount of money and why there it is so i'm gonna fly over there and show you the the upgrades because the upgrades literally change any business on this game and I'm not exaggerating when I say this right I don't know man it's gonna be all like uh, it again let me just fly over sold my bunker stuff in forever now see the thing with the bunker is you have two options hello you chum now here's your old friend indeed here stop now, now carna music look to be money. about two tempo and shifts away from a serious wobbly we need like the big guns flown out here right away my personal chakra now, stones uh, i personally think can you make it happen you Make, like, You're a heartbreaker, have but there's no grudges where Dave is concerned. Speak soon. The bunker is just like a fraction of it. Don't do the research because you don't choose what research you do, which is already annoying. And well, just because if you're doing it for money, do it for money. The bunker is the best 
passive business there is. So, let me just quickly go to my uh, computer. So, so it does say value 140k, but if that's not the selling price, the value is how the minimal, but the maximum if you sell to Los Santos and the high demand, you can get a lot more. Right. So if you just quickly access the distribution logistics, you've got your resupply. I personally, if you've got both uh, upgrades, these two, then buy it. Because it'll be just much better. Right, so now on the research tab. Right, so see, look at these unlocks. You get like the ballistic, like weapons, turrets, missiles, like all that good stuff. But I just don't think it's honestly that useful for now. Like, if you're trying to make the most money, do the sell stock like see I can make 210k just like that now you have an option to do manufacturing which is stock level staff assign staff to research which is the research and the staff to both which means they're gonna do both but each are gonna be just as slow right so this is the why we actually flew here is the upgrades now if you're looking for most security I mean not money then the security isn't that important the security will get you protect you from being raided but I've never actually been raided and I've been using this for quite a bit so save enough money for the equipment upgrade and the staff upgrade because this will really help in your manufacturing manufacturing or research depending on which one you're doing i am not a dictator you can choose whichever one i'm just saying my opinion and oh as uh, as you could see it showed my total earnings and how much i actually spent and you can see about four million which is actually pretty decent seeing as i haven't actually been using this business for like really well or well, not really well like a really long time now the only problem with this business is that the more stock that you have is going to result in more vehicles which you might need to do the better sell mission yeah, not better sell the more stock you have, the more vehicles you're probably going to need to use, and you have a time limit. So, this one, if you're doing a solo, I recommend doing um, every single supply bar, selling and resupplying. If you have at least three friends, so resupply, 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 and then sell it all together because that's how you make the most money and we are actually in the second business that I have I think I do not believe that this one is mine or is it no this one is this one they want ah well this one is mine the A2 one right so the next one we're going to do is the hangar now the only reason I bought this is because it was on half price now do I recommend this in terms of money uh, not really the hangar is more of an active mission kind of thing now the only reason I bought this because I'm planning to put aircraft in here and it was on half price and this is the biggest one obviously I don't know if the size like really affects how many crafts you have in here but this one just looks like the biggest so I thought that maybe uh yeah 
this is just the way to have more aircrafts but as you can see in the in this area you have choices to source supplies like chemicals jewelry antiques alcohol counterfeit goods medical supplies and animal materials and then you sell those and as you can see the money is actually quite decent i know i said it's not really worth it but i have one antiques two jewelry two tobacco uh, and alcohol one medical and one chemical and i can make 140k from that and if you had 50 on every single one of them well that's just be crazy like you can make a lot of money but it's probably very grindy and the missions some of them are fun some of them are boring as hell i like the dog fights but like the one where you have to protect oh my god they're boring as hell but so source sell source sell and either you have like small source uh, like you have like small source trips and then you sell or you have one massive one and then sell and do that again as you can see it's pretty good total export is still zero but that's just it but the real reason I bought the hangar was to store aircraft so if you're doing this on the money purpose I don't think I recommend this business only because the active missions you can only do one at a time and like the passive ones and the one that I recommend the most is probably the vehicle cargo because the vehicle cargo you can sell at 80k per one which is crazy well only the high end one and they don't take as long as the aircraft ones which is a big plus okie dokie right so that's two businesses down for the money terms the next we are going to go to I am not motorcycle club president so I don't know if it's gonna work or not uh, I might need to disband my CEO really quick retire Yeah, there it is. Alright, now it showed up. So, the next one we are going to look at is the lockup, and it's arguably the best. Uh, the best passive one, except the bunker. So, the best one out of like the ones that you have to get from being a motorcycle club president. Because bunker you can be both, but the lockup you can only you can only access it using the motorcycle club president. So I'm just flying over there now, and honestly, location I don't think the for the lockup it doesn't matter too much, seeing as you have probably a lot more time, and it doesn't really matter because sometimes it's underwater, sometimes it's not so just enter it and i actually don't have any upgrades for this i just bought it so i can have the nightclub option which is pretty good for south american imports see i mean they're not really doing anything so if you go in here uh see total sales one you get 37k but I have no upgrades and you can see they're pretty expensive but after you get this the, it's almost as good as the manufacturing for the bunker it's like eight thousand dollars off per hour which don't get me wrong that is amazing and once again for security I don't know how many times you get raided, but you get like 71,000 per hour for this. So, I want to use the same example. If you're doing the Cayo Perico heist, 
you can have the million five hundred k for each k of Perico, and then for the lockup and the bunker, you can just like together you get like around 200k so you basically make 2 million every single hour which is crazy but you need both the upgrades and I don't really you know have them right so moving on to the counterfeit cash business and I'll be honest you do get this one for free I think so this one might actually just be worth it right so I need to travel there and once again I don't think the location matters that much for this one which is kind of nice because as I said it's the only mission that I've done it was underwater as well so Oh, and I forgot to mention, if you don't have the upgrades, do not buy the supplies, because then you are not making money. Steal them, it takes a bit of time, but what can you do about it? So again, I'm not going to really just resupply this, because I don't have both of the upgrades, so it will be, see? Total sales one, but I did get 70k, which actually you'd think it's probably better, but I don't know. So this one together, maybe it's 50k. So if you add that up, it's just over 2 million. But there isn't much to say about this one. It's very similar to the lockup. The upgrades are cheaper, but the profit is not as much. So the lockup is still better right now I do not have the meth lab but the lab is quite good as well if you're doing the motorcycle club businesses I would do it like this the lockup the factory and the lab why well the lockup is making you the most money the factory is free so you technically could put the factory on first but in money terms that's the way you want to go and then the lab because you need to still buy it and also it's not the best one so yeah and also you do get organic produce as one of them and the medical supplies or something but they are absolutely terrible, do not get them, you will not be making profit. Like, if you buy them on both the upgrades, you still need about 47 hours just to like remake that, which is absolutely terrible, do not get those two. And you also don't want to get too much on your plate, because then you like, have to sell too much or you know. So, yeah. Alright, so the next business is the nightclub. And the nightclub is arguably the best one for money, but also the most expensive. Well, why do you ask? Well, first of all, to actually make money from the nightclub, you need other businesses. The more businesses you have, the better. Which is already pretty you know pretty good because every single business that you have well you can only you have five and I'm currently on four more money from the business from the nightclub and yeah you can make like it from the parties but the, your main money is coming from the warehouse so you just it's gonna be kind of difficult to explain but because even though it's arguably the best it's also arguably the most expensive and uh, yeah it's 
the most expensive and the most complicated. Why is because you do not have uh, like unlimited storage. Well, not in not in any you have unlimited storage. Don't get me wrong, but you can upgrade your storage which already costs quite a lot and as you can see i already made 250k and that was when i also had like two so two businesses so this is really good now i haven't been like on very long so 173 still pretty good seeing as i've still got one more to do right so this is how you make money from the warehouse from the nightclub so first of all you need businesses other ones so the bunker is sporting goods the lockup is south american imports the vehicle cargo the crate cargo and the air cargo is cargo and shipments the factory is cash creation and then this is your organic produce and your farm juice and you're printing and copying do not get these these will just don't and you get a pharmaceutical research which is the lab which i haven't got yet so i still got one to, to hire so yeah and they work for your businesses without without you need to, to resupply so this if you can do like the afk glitch where you put the rub well it's not really a glitch when you put a rubber band around your analog and you go somewhere for like a day you can make like maybe even over a million but there is upgrades to this as well so i hope i've explained that pretty well some people might have trouble but as you can see in the home, this is how much it's making. So cargo, shipments and sporting goods are around the same level. South American imports and cash creation though are making a lot more. Only because if you look at sell goods, the South American imports have only 10 like pieces of storage and I've got 2. The sporting goods have 9 out of 100 so this is technically still making it faster but this is worth more. The cargo and shipments are 5 out of 50, and the cargo and shipments are better than the sporting goods, surprisingly. And the cash creation is the worst, but arguably pretty close, with 11 out of 40, with 38k. So, there's still the pharmaceutical research that I need to make the most money. And I think you need to buy vehicles the more, like, money you have. But, I hope that was pretty good of an explanation for the nightclub warehouse and yeah if you want to make money from the actual like nightclub party well i probably wouldn't but if you do you've it's where it the popularity makes you money basically so like you can do missions to upgrade your popularity, you can hire the DJ to give you max popularity, but then when it's 10k you can only have like one little bar for each time. So 100k DJ for a popularity bar, uh, high, like hiring a DJ just for a little bit, one popularity bar. Missions will also give you one popularity bar, and the higher popularity, the more money every single day you're gonna make, but this, from it you're not gonna get a lot like from this if you're taking your time out to do this instead of doing something else like cargo and shipments or heists then there's some wrong with you know uh, I mean you can buy them but as a, again it's just a way to look at the brand even if you've got like a warehouse to sell them on and the next thing is going to be the arcade and I do not own an arcade yet but the arcade is also one of the arguably the best ones to make money not from the actual business itself but you get to do the time casino heist I only done it once with my friend but yeah I've never actually done it as a host uh, 
so I'm, I think, I can remember what the La Mesa one is, it's like around here, is it around here? Yeah, here it is. So this is probably the arcade that I would buy, it's called Video Do Doom, Doom Arcade. Because it's close to the casino, which if you're not going to buy the arcade for the casino heist, then why? I mean, there is the master, master control, where you can like operate your other businesses, buy supplies, sell stock. But the only downside to selling stock, you still have to travel to the area where you sell it from. So if you want to buy the arcade that's closest to your businesses, that's very understandable, but if you're doing it for the, or here, if, but if you're doing it for the casino heist, get this one, get this one, like get, get this one, like in this area, because it's closest and it's just going to save you a bit of time really. So that's the arcade, and for the cargo from the CEO building, I probably wouldn't ex really do it because you can't, I don't know if there's a garage one or anything, but you have to buy the CEO office and then actually buy a place to store, which is super annoying, but yeah. For the vehicle, high-end cars are worth 80k if you sell, mid-range mid cars are like worth 50k? I'm not exactly sure, I've never really done them. And the lower-range cars are about 20k I think. So there is a glitch, but I'm not really going to go into detail on that because, yeah. So I think that's pretty much most of the business is done. And I pretty sure there is a few more that is the wrong thing facilities is used for the heist as well but like the unlike the arcade the arcade can make money itself but I'm not really gonna talk about that people use your arcades they pay money for it you make you get money facilities it's not really a business same as the Kasatka so yeah I think that's really going to wrap it up for this video. So I'm not sure what if I'm ever going to do another extra riches, maybe in the future, but that's basically the basics down of how to make money really quick. Do the treasure hunts, uh, grind for a Kasatka, do the Kale Brutal Heist a few times, get those businesses in this order, which I am going to say now. So Kasatka, Bunker, Lock up, cash factory, lab, nightclub, arcade. You could probably do the arcade whenever you feel like it. I just feel like, in terms of money making and not from the actual heist, it's not very good. And for. Actually, no. Hangar vehicle cargo and uh, crate cargo then the arcade and then that's probably the most money you want to make and then at the bottom you can have organic produce and the uh, printing copying because you shouldn't really get those all right well thanks for watching guys S subscribe and i'll see you in the next one